Today we're going to plant some golden seal that I bought. Um, they purchased off of Etsy. I got 25 bare root plants. So we're gonna see how they work. Uh, I'm gonna put some here. They like 60 to 75% shade. Uh, they're Normal, I guess, habitat would be like in a forest. So they're used to like canopy, they're used to shade, and they're used to just getting watered when it rains. So they don't need wet roots. Um, they need nice, good soil, uh, but nice, good shade as well. So I'm gonna plant some right here by the greenhouse because um, they do will get a little bit of sun like in the noontime, but like right now in the morning it's shaded. Uh, because I have stuff growing right here and then uh, once the Sun gets past the greenhouse just a little bit we'll have some shade here as well so I'm thinking it's probably about right we'll see I'm not gonna plant them all right here I'm gonna plant maybe I don't know maybe half I don't even know if I'm gonna get half here maybe a third but I'm gonna plant them here and then I've got another spot that I am thinking of planting some more and then I'm gonna mark this on my map my garden map because otherwise I will forget all about it now, one thing I do have is some chicken wire over here because these guys have already been over here checking out the dirt that I have tilled up. And I put some blood meal and bone meal in here and she, our dog right there, or one of our dogs, will come over here and dig this up. Now, the instructions say that after June 1st, if they ship after June 1st, you may not get they may not come up this year they may come up in the spring so I'm definitely gonna have to mark it so I don't forget because I'm notorious for forgetting where I plant stuff if I don't have it marked and then that way I can know what's over here so I'm gonna mark it on my map I'm gonna put chicken wire over this and hopefully they will come up maybe I'm really hoping they come up this year so um, I will know that they live but otherwise I guess I'll get a surprise in the spring So there are my 25 plants in this baggie. They are tiny. That's one. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to plant these and I'm going to space them out and see how many we've got here. So that's one, six to 12 inches apart. So these are kind of small. I'm going to go with six maybe. I was able to put out 10 little plants right here. I probably could have fit one more, but I didn't want to get too close to the other plants. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the soil. They only go down about two inches, so not very far. All right, well that was easy. I think I got them all. So I'm gonna go ahead and cover them with chicken wire and then give them a little water and uh, leave them. Chicken wire and hopefully that will work. And keep the chickens out of it. And hopefully I will kind of bent it under a little bit here on the edge so I wouldn't hit it. Because if you know, I usually forget where I plant stuff and uh, hopefully I won't forget that this is here. So I just got over here to the next spot, which is right by my two sort of compost bins. And I'm looking and I'm hoping like this is all shaded right now and I really don't know this might be too shaded I guess we'll see I'm kind of looking at the Sun and it's like early morning right now it's about I don't know almost 10 and there's like no Sun on this right here I'm hoping that maybe as the Sun comes up there'll be a little bit and then as it gets past I don't know probably two three o'clock there probably won't be much Sun here so I'm hoping that's okay. I'm hoping this is encouraging. Maybe that's growth. We'll see. So this is that second spot. I'm not super sure about yet, but if you'll look closely, you can see maybe I have some deer fencing which I really hate working with it's it's almost like it's sticky but it's not if you've ever worked with it you know what I'm talking about so I have each end held down by a pot we're gonna see if this is gonna work because I've already been checking out the freshly turned dirt let's get this watered so 
I put about a gallon on the other ones. That was about 10 plants. I was gonna put a gallon on this one. Actually, it's two gallons, so okay. Two gallons on each one of water. And then I guess we'll see what happens. They don't like wet feet. So I guess unless it is really, really dry, I won't water them. That's it, headed back inside to get some stuff finished. Then I'm headed to town. This is my do what I want to day, I guess you could call it. I'm gonna go in, I may thrift shop, get me some cold coffee, and uh, I'm gonna spend the day how I wanna spend the day, I guess. So, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this. I don't know if this is the totally right way to plant golden seal, but I bought some golden seal while we were on vacation. I found a local herb shop bought some and realized it's actually quite expensive per ounce compared to everything else so whenever i got to looking online i realized i could grow it myself now you do have to harvest it uh, sustainably when you harvest because it is the root i'm a, i'm pretty sure that is uh, ground up and so i have a few years probably two or three years before i can do that with the mine but that's okay let them grow for now I also bought a ton of new seeds on Etsy um, for herbs. Lots and lots and lots and lots. And uh, I don't know where I'm gonna put all those yet, so those aren't gonna get started yet. But those are seeds, so those can hang out and not do anything for a little bit. But I need to make sure on those that, you know, if something has to be put in the freezer, because some seeds I've been reading for herbs do have to be like simulated winter. So we're gonna see how that works, but I need to make a list and see what all I wanna do that and probably plan where I want it before I start those seats. But that's a completely different video. This one was on Golden Seal. So I got 14 uh, planted in the other spot. So that's a total of 24. I only ordered 25 plants, but I believe I have about six more. So I'm assuming they just kind of throw some in there as you know extra just in case uh, some of them don't make it or uh, whatever. So I have six more. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put those. I'm gonna hang on to those, take those inside with me and um, the first 10 that I planted, I did amend the soil. So I put some bone meal and some blood meal in there and I used some of my raised bed uh, potting soil stuff, raised bed garden soil that, and I mixed all that in and kind of put it on a top dressing on top of the soil. The second one I did not, except it was right by the compost bin. So I stuck my shovel in the bottom and kind of pulled some of that out a little bit. I've not really messed with my compost pile a whole lot. I just layer it and hope it works. I haven't turned it or anything like that. So it may not, it's probably slower than the normal compost pile. Uh, but I plan on looking at it next year and maybe, or even this fall and kind of looking and seeing if maybe I can go ahead and amend my beds with it or whatever. But again, another video. So hopefully you enjoyed this. Uh, let me know if you have planted Golden Seal, if you've had luck with it, if you love it, if you don't, uh, what you use it for. And, um, that's about it I think so I'm gonna go in and clean up but I hope you enjoyed this don't forget to like and subscribe though if you haven't already and most importantly don't forget to be lovely lights today <laughs>